went to his house in peace. I went to explain to him one more time that what happened was only a mistake. But he wouldn't listen. Instead, he sent wild bees to sting me to death. I am also severing all forms of relationship. He will cry and nobody will listen. Otu Angolia, Kosele. I am now his enemy, and he is equally my enemy. Nothing shall ever change this. Nay, why are you not talking? You don't have to bring your personal problem with her anymore. So the relationship our daughter is having with his son is not right now. Hmm. Let me make something clear to you. The problem between Inemo and myself is something we have already presented before deities and shrines. If Adana wants to marry, let her look for another man and marry. Nay, why would you ask her to look for another? She already has someone who is ready to do anything for her. Listen, woman, don't provoke me doesn't want me to leave and I don't want to have anything to do with him either. If Adana wants to proceed with this insult, I will kill her myself and know that I have no child. Leave my presence. Leave my presence. So I decided to sit here and wait for you. Woman, I am boiling inside of me and I don't need any distractions. Where is your son? Man, he went hunting and you know he won't be back till tomorrow morning. My son, I bought. Cannot kill me. It is I who must kill him. Kill him. See, Nani, if you are bothered about that lady, please don't let it disturb you. Before he left, he said he was going to bring her tomorrow. That's not a problem. I already know who the maiden is. And I'm going to kill Atwanya if he does not leave that maiden alone. Nani. Of all the punishments known to us, to kill a man is the strongest. Why would you want to kill your only son? Because he's bringing me to ridicule. Of all the maidens in Amaguno, your son did not see anyone to love. He went and fell in love with Adana, daughter of Moloko of Awovu. Is that not madness? Lolo, my husband said that this year's Ego Ganigo will trigger confusion in the land. He has refused speaking further on that. Oh, really? <laughs> Whatever confusion, you will soon know. <laughs> we are gathered here for Ego Ganigo, our annual event where selected maidens dance to the gods to trigger blessings from the gods. The more you dance, the more we are blessed by the gods. 
So you beautiful maidens, I want you all to dance out your hearts. Entertain us and gratify the gods. Dalon and Dubai.
daughter of Molo who of our wealth, the favored of Lolo, and the favored of the gods. Is that the name you just mentioned? I don't know what you mean by favored of Lolo and favored of the gods. But their family is separated from ours and nothing will ever connect me to them. I will speak more. When your stupid son returns in the morning. Even the Lolo was moved by her dance. And after embracing her, she wanted her to marry the prince and she refused. Chelo, Chelo, Chelo. Could it be that she refused because of my son? a message for you. Gona. <coughs> I didn't see you enter. How are you? I know. I don't blame you. You were engulfed in that beautiful song of yours. Adana, you should sing less of those touching songs of yours. Please. Those songs are the kind of songs that register in my heart all the time. They rekindle love. They assure me of hope. Sometimes, <laughs> after singing the song, I forget I have the worries. Anyway, he said he doesn't want your father to beat you this morning. He is waiting for you at the junction. He asked me to come get you. <laughs> That's why I say.
school there? Mo, are you still sleeping by this time? It is. Mm. He cannot even take care of his own heart. He can't even sweep it. Please come out. There's something I have very important thing to tell you. Come out, oh. Walk it. Hey! What am I seeing? Hey, Kemma! You slept here! You slept here, Kemma! Why would you ask me that? Unbelievable! Why am I in this kingdom? And things are happening, I don't know about it! Hey, Kemma! So, it's now you and Ngude of all people, Kemma! When you use the expression of all people to qualify him, it simply tells me that you're one of those that undermine his relevance in this kingdom. Huh? Do you want to know the truth? I do not see any other. He is all that I see. Because he is not a pretender like all of you. What he sees, he says it. And he says it as he sees it. And just so you know, if you know the history of our land, you will understand that he is the only one who represents our ancestors in all ramifications. Hey! It can make one! Huh? Abomination! Shut up! Hey! Shut, shut, shut up! Shut that your mouth! If there is any abomination here, yeah, that abomination is you. Your heart is full of evil, Ibezim. Because he came back came to fetch water for me. And you have just concluded that she slept here. Why are you denying what I've seen with my own eyes? What did you see? Huh? Oh, me John. Oh, me Hey! Are you insulting me in my house? Can you afford to start your day like this, my love? Please take this morning gift I brought for you. If I accept it from you, where will I take it to? He'll take it home. It's a guinea fowl that strayed my way this morning and I decided to bring it to you. Take it. Mm -mm. I cannot accept this gift from you and take it home. My father will kill me if he knows I returned home with something from you. And please do not insist on this, I beg you, because it will make me very, very... Restless, you are my lord and I don't want to offend you. Adan Nayopi Atuanya Pico Ato Lounge Le Manya Nihu Igawati M Nehu Iji M Neregi Obiga Pawa Pamo Obiga Parisimo Obiga Pawa Pamo Napo mi hen neregi iyo si no bim puta adan na yo pi atuanya pika atulojo ada pika atulojo anamaria gyo pika atulojo napo mi hen neregi pika atulojo. Stop singing, it's enough. Hey, wait. If I insist, if I go ahead and take the risk of taking this guinea fowl to my house and my father eventually kills me like he has been threatening to, who will you, who will you now have to sing to? He won't kill you. Just take it, please. If you don't take it, where do I keep it? Please. <laughs> Hmm. Must you two meet at awkward places at all times? By this time of the morning, you are here making fools of yourselves. My man, can you remind your business? Do not make us your business because it will backfire. Go in peace, my love. If I had a weakling like you, for a brother. I would have disowned him long ago. Unfortunately, I am not your brother. Every way your brother is known all over the kingdom as a rapist. And since you haven't disowned him, 
It means you're simply a noisemaker. Obim, what do you make of this? Huh? I'm sure it's that boy that made her abandon this compound like this. Anai, how can you say a thing like that? How can she abandon the compound because of the boy? I agree that law can make her misbehave, but not to this extent. And where are you coming from? Who gave you that guinea fowl? You have your reasons for hating him so much, Father. But he remains the best man I have ever met in my entire life. What's the meaning of what you just said now? Is he the one that gave you the guinea fowl? I ask again. Allow me to handle it. There is something I must clarify here and now. Listen to me. There is nothing going on between Ekema and myself. Ekema is just a decent maiden that knows I need water. And she comes here every morning to get me a pot of water. Why are you angry unnecessarily? I'm no longer talking about Ekema. I'm talking about Adana. Eh? As it is now. Adana is the only maiden I see among all the maidens in this kingdom. See, I know she has something to do with that Tuanya, but I want to have her for myself. Do you know why I'll be looking at you? Because they have caught you later in the way to go be. How can you not the talk of winning Adana? Initially, you were talking about a Kemba. Now you have diverted to Adana. How can you lose the thought of winning Adanda? How can? My name is Ibezim. There is nothing impossible for me. Once I set my hand to it and my eyes on it, I will get it. Hey, but you said something yesterday that kept bothering me into the night. And even till now. You said she is married to Atuanya. Is it true? Or you just said that to make me scared? Hey, just, just listen to me. Listen, Ibezim, listen to me. If you have finally made up your mind to pick a wife, I want you to look for another maid. Leave Adanda out of this, for Adanda is already hooked with Atwanya. Are you listening to me? And let me warn, as a friend, I want to warn you. Do not press hard to have her, because if you do, you will be, you will be bought in the process. How? I'm a I have my ways. I've confirmed the identity of the maiden that transformed you into a fool. Why do you bring my family to this radical? Father, the issue at hand borders on my personal life. It has got nothing to do with anybody. Shut up your mouth! I am your father and you owe your existence to me. Anymore, please! Do not assume the position of a deity over my son. He owes his existence to the gods and not to you. Now you are only a human and you know he cannot give life. And what does that mean? You said he owes his existence to you. Now that is wrong. It's clear you are the person encouraging him. On the contrary, Nani. I am not encouraging him like you said. I'm only trying to be an unbiased umpire in this matter. He is my son and you are my husband. And both of you are the men in my life. I cannot stand here and watch you people start what you consume us. Right word. That's the right word. And if your son does not leave that maiden alone, I will make sure I personally consume him. Father, I am still living in this compound because of my mother. But if you won't let me be with the woman I love, I will depart and build my own hut. I am able to build my heart and be a man of my own. Continue to fool yourself. But I swear on the sacredness of the grave of my father, if you don't leave that maiden alone, I will kill you. Please, for the sake of peace in this family, I am pleading with you, please reconsider your stand in this matter. Please. The maiden you talked about is an angel. I agree completely. I thought from if he But I want you to remember the importance of your father in your life. I mean, whatever maiden that will come and cause problems between you and your father should be allowed to go. Never, mother, never. Adana is my life. 
and I wouldn't let her go for anybody. No! My father, my son, let me stop her. The prince of Amaguno, the heir to his father's throne, come, your mother wants to speak with you. Your Majesty, the Queen Mother, I bow before you. You shall live long. Thank you. I got the information that you've not been yourself since you woke up this morning. That's why I'm here to know what is the problem with you. On your honor, Your Majesty, I order the maidens to leave. I want to talk to you alone. problem with you. I did not sleep last night. I kept thinking of that maiden. I kept seeing her standing before me in majesty. Then it dawned on me that she is mine. Interesting. I'm interested in knowing the maiden that made such a serious impression on you, son. Her name is Adanna, the only daughter of Ichie Molo from Awovu village. I watch her dance today and I realize that she's made for royalty. I want you to make her your wife. Yes. <laughs> I can see you're surprised. You don't need to be. You prove your worth already. And I know you belong here. Son, oh. I will leave both of you to interact. Yes, she's spectacular. My son is made in a caliber of kings. And he knows what is good for a woman. I wish both of you a fruitful discussion. Excuse me. My mother, the Iru Ezigbo of Amaguno, is a woman that knows everything. Since she has already confirmed you as my wife, I want to ride on her confirmation and make you mine. Do you have any problem with that? I kept quiet because I was intimidated by the presence of the Queen Mother. Now that she's gone, now we can talk. I'm going to tell you the truth. I hope you are man enough to take the truth. And what is the truth? I cannot be your wife. Why? Yeah. Right. I am the prince of this land, and I shall emerge as the king after my father. You shall be my queen. And I, I am in love and engaged to a young man in this kingdom. He means the whole world to me because we love each other dearly. I will not leave him for anything in the world. I'm sorry, my friends, but that is the honest truth. Are you walking out on me? The more I stand here, the more your interest in me arises. It's of no use. There is a man in this land she's interested in. Who is he? I am talking of Adana. The one you presented to me. As I closed my eyes to sleep last night, her picture kept flashing to my face. Murder. I want to make that maiden mine and I want it immediately. 
son? You want to make her your wife when she has not accepted? Oh no. Royal marriages are not done that way. She said no because we did not approach the proposal with the authority of the king. And that is what I want to do now. If I fail to marry that maiden, I will remain single forever. Oh, shh! That's strong, son. It does not come to the extent of placing a curse on yourself. That is to tell you how desperate I want that maiden. The reality of what she actually represents has done on me and I want to make her mine. We must figure out a way to make it work. Oh. Hey, no, no, this, this, you are beating more than you can chew. I will finish you. Let her come. Listen, I do not know why you called me here. But please, be fast about this meeting. Before people around here see us together and start spreading those rumors that you and I have something going on. Please, be fast. Much. Have you seen why I said you have no brain? No, I called you here to give you an important information that is going to be useful to you. What do I get in return? Insult. Do you know what, Match? Get lost. Just disappear from my face. Wait, wait, wait. Ude, please. Please. Hmm? Listen, I'm sorry. Oh? Look, I, I've just realized that I, I said the wrong things. No, you didn't say you didn't say wrong things. You just said your mind. Listen to me. I just realized I am the one that made the wrong move. And instead of me to give you that important information again, give, give my name to Alan. Hey, 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 Don't lay a curse on yourself. You are a noble man of our land. Look, I know whatever it is you want to tell me must be very important. And now I'm ready to hear it. Machi, do you know what? You are very foolish. In fact, you are very stupid for you to ever think you can humble me with your useless sentiments. Look at you. No, take a proper look at yourself. If they ask you now, you open your mouth and say you are betrothed to Ibezim. Ask Ibezim, you will be shocked to hear him mention the name of a different baby and not you. Do you know what that means? It means that you are a useless fool that is completely lost. Idiot. Wait, 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 Mude, please wait, please, please, Biko, help me clarify this matter further. Are you saying that Ibezim has another maiden that he is seeing? Machi, shake it up, wagok. Wagia, beyond repair. Mude. Give you an information. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, Hey, I do you need my, my friend? Room. Quit complaining. Are you supposed to be here and having me do this for, for you by this time of the day? I'm supposed to be at the farm now, helping my mother with some farm work. So, please now. And eh? you've been complaining since. Like when you get to the farm, your mother will kill you. Keep running your mouth, young lady, and I will leave you here. Oh. I don't know. Oh. Ndo. I don't know. Hmm? Are these not the royal messengers from the palace? What are they doing here? I don't know. I bring you greetings from the Queen Mother, Lolo Iru Ezibo of Amagoro. I, I, I greet you too. We are only but commoners in the land. 
to what do I owe the honor of this visit? The Queen Mother is now waiting for you in the palace. She said we must bring you with us. I have no business in the palace. So why would the Queen Mother send me such a message? Whatever we tell you now will not be as authentic as you come into the palace to listen to the Queen Mother yourself. She's waiting for you. And she will see you immediately you arrive. I think I know why the Queen Mother wants to see me. And guess what? I will not go to that palace. I beg your pardon. Are you out of your mind? How dare you refuse a request from the real palace? Ugoma, my friend, you will not understand. Ever since we had that gathering of the sacred Iguagani way, Queen Mother has been plotting to have me marry her son. And I already made it clear to them that I have someone in my life. I belong to Atwanya. Go back to the palace and tell that to those that sent you. Listen. What? How dare you refuse a marriage proposal from the royal palace? How? Ugoma, thankfully, this is my life. And I live it however I please. <laughs> if you love the prince so much, why don't you just go for him? I just hmm? feel sorry for you. <laughs> Sit down and finish your hair. Let me go ahead, my mother. What are you doing here? How do you know that I'm here? And what does that look for? There's another maiden you are seeing in this land. Who is she? I don't know what you are talking about. As you can see, I'm very busy. This is not a time to talk about who is seen who and who is not seen another. Ibezim, we are betrothed. And you know we're supposed to be joined together as man and wife soon. So why in this world would you start a relationship with another maiden in this land? Where did you get that tale from? See, you are listening to people that will destroy you. Nobody's trying to destroy me. There is another meeting that you are seeing. Tell me, who is she? Yeah? What does that look for? Have you forgotten that I'm still here? Is anything the matter? Why would you abandon her like that? Don't tell me. Don't tell me you're in the league of characters like Ebuiwe who does nothing but delight in molesting innocent maidens. Why did you block my path? Adana, there's something private I need to discuss with you. I don't know when you have my time. We all know you are betrothed to much here. Whatever it is you want to discuss with me in her absence is certainly not worth it. So if indeed you have something to tell me, say it here and now. It's something private. Something that will benefit you and benefit me. Yes. 
I have to hurry off now to join my mother at the farm. Time is already against me. I can't continue talking here yeah, over at the farm. Ibezim! Ibezim! What's the meaning of that? Eh? Are you trying to tell me that you no longer have any respect for me? You lost after another maiden right in front of me? I don't know why you came here in the first place. You just ruined an important opportunity for me. Let me tell you. The sun rises and falls in her eyes. The one that resurrects the man in me. I want to go for her. I need you to give me a break. She has no respect for royalty. And that simply means she has no respect for us. I'm advising you to forget her and look for another. I now know who she's dying for. And what are you planning to do? Fight a man of this land because of a common maiden? I forbid you. There is something you are missing, murder. Whatever comes to the king face to face as a gift does not go back. Sir, you are not here the king. You are just a prince. And whatever applies to the king also applies to the prince. More than she consumed the prince, she must be mine. Son, you threatened your own life before because of this common maiden. I'm advising you right here and now to forget her and look for another one. There are options that I have not explored. There is no way I will forget her when I have options to explore. What I gathered from all you have said is that you're concerned someone might take Adana away from me, right? I'm not just talking about anybody. I am talking about Ibezim. Yes. The same Ibezim you saved from Ebigwe suffocation. And it's lusting after your Adana and... Hey, hey, wait. Which Ibezim are you talking about? The same Ibezim you are betrothed to? The one who almost lost his life trying to save you from that deadly crocodile that almost devoured you at the lake? Well... He is not worthy of somebody like me. He has no respect for the feelings of a woman. And that is why he's lost enough to Adana, even in my presence. I have heard that a provoked and aggravated woman is deadlier than poison. Now I understand it. Are you saying that you do not believe me? Whatever it is that he has done to you must have hurt you real deep. I beg you for old time's sake. Forgive him. <laughs> so are, you, are you telling me that you would not strive to protect what is yours from the hawk? Ibezim is not a hawk. Even if he were, he cannot pick Adana. Because she's hidden far, far beyond the reach of any hawk. Right inside my heart. Listen, my dear palace guard. I am not moved by your message. The prince is in his house. I'm in my house. The prince is a man. I am a man too. He does not feed me, and I do not feed him too. What are you standing this way? Have I insulted you in any way? That is what you think because you are a palace messenger. But the truth remains that you have insulted me big time. And how? The prince has a personal problem. I remembered you as someone who could help and asked me to come call you. How have I insulted you? I'm not going to disappoint. I'm going to break it down for you. 
I am not moved by men that claim to be relevant because they were born into great families and they had everything provided for them. Rather, I am moved by men that worked hard to attain greatness on their own. If he believes he needs me, let him come to me. You want me to say that to the prince? No! You may go and change what I said in order to please him. I don't care. The truth remains that your conscience will continue to pinch you and flog you for misquoting an authority like Wood. I can't believe this. Do you see yourself as an authority in this land? Have you seen why you are a fool? No, man looking at you. Everybody would detect that you are a palace fool. If I'm not an authority, why would the prince send you to me because he has personal problems? Why? Okay. I will tell him everything you said. Do it and I will be very happy. All the people are coming to me for their personal problems. And still, they don't care to know how would they solve his own problems. That is madness. Because it's a bad for me. Much. Hmm? You know why I'm looking at you like this? I'm wondering what you're doing here. Mude, please. I have a problem that only you can solve. Pico, help me. Help me solve it. Exactly what we were discussing before you came. Problem, problem, problem. What is the problem? What's the meaning of this? Why are you standing on my path? You are going to swear on this sand that you are no longer going to have anything with Adana or I'm going to kill you right here. Don't you ever forget I'm a hunter in Amaguno. And do not provoke me to the point I will lose the thought of handling you like a beast. A beast? This is unbelievable. What do you think you can do to a man like me? I have confirmed from people that know and they say that Adana can never be married to you because her father will not leave her for you. Atoya, why are you clinging onto something you cannot have? Ewewe, you're just a troublemaker. A laggard who would always be fire in Amaguno. I don't have time for laggards like you. Hey, Amaguno! Anofia Iku Wono! You have just said the abominable! Am I the one you're calling the laggard? Have you no shame at all? What's, what's the matter with you? Why are you embarrassing my visitor? Your visitor who has come here to discuss me. Listen to me, young man. There is a maiden in this land who loves you so much. And I'm sure you were once in love with her. Go back to her and rekindle what you had so you can be man and wife. <laughs> 